All right, people, how's it going on this fine Thursday afternoon? It is time for Pass Coverage Thursday. Uh, real quick before I go into the data here, just another reminder. Alamo Bowl tonight, 6 o'clock. Should be live for it. Should be streaming for it. Should do the whole thing. Probably going to be about a three and a half hour game. You know how college football is. Maybe more. Sometimes these games go four hours and there's just nothing you can do about it. But I will be streaming the whole thing. Hopefully the Huskies can get the win. Hope to see you there. All right. Seattle Seahawks pass coverage in this most recent game against the Kansas City Chiefs was actually pretty good. Although the Chiefs helped by dropping some passes. Mahomes did not kill us. Mahomes actually kind of had a pretty mortal day. Threw for a couple touchdowns, over 200 yards. Decent, but I didn't hate the way most of these players played. But uh, let's talk about it and understand exactly what was going on down there. And as we so often do on Pass Coverage Thursday, we're going to lead with the guy who... How should I put this? Uh, uh, screw it. He, he's the biggest problem. He's the main problem. Jordan Brooks was targeted in coverage, I believe, 10 times in this game. Now, the good news is he only allowed four completions, and that actually brought his QB rating allowed this year down significantly. His completion percentage allowed was low. Unfortunately, on those completions, he gave up almost 100 yards. He gave up just, uh, I believe, over 80. So, the Chiefs made their big plays on him. They only had three completions, but they were bigger ones. He gave up the long one that basically ended the game in the fourth quarter when it was still a two-touchdown game, and he gave up, I think it was the 55-yarder. So, yeah, he continues to be a big liability in coverage. He is now leading the team by far in number of passing yards allowed on the season. And at this point, yeah, even if he plays well in these next two games, even if he does his job in coverage, he's getting over 800 yards. Last year he had over 1,000, I think, so this is better, but it is a long way away from good. And as we move forward into this offseason, I think that a big part of the plan needs to be find a linebacker who can play zone coverage better to at least take pressure off Brooks, if not get Brooks off the field completely because you have two linebackers that can do it. The other inside linebacker on this team, Cody Barton, he was targeted not a ton. I believe he was targeted three times, gave up uh, two completions for about, it was not, uh, 20 yards. Yeah, 20 yards. So Barton was fine, nothing remarkable, nothing bad, just perfectly fine. QB rating allowed, still holding steady at about a 96. He's done okay in coverage this year, right? Like, he's been targeted 46 times. He's allowed 360 yards. He's got two picks. I can live with that. I don't hate that. Uh, Daryl Taylor gave up one completion in this game. First time he's been targeted in coverage for a while for 13 yards. Again, very, very small sample size here. Can't learn much from it. Nawosu, I believe, was targeted, yeah, once. He gave up a completion. It was a, yeah, actually a fairly significant play, a 28-yarder. So, Nawosu, I mean, he doesn't cover that much, so it's kind of whatever. But, uh, yeah, he's not having a great year in coverage. Uh, Mafe was not targeted. Bruce Irvin was targeted once and gave up one completion for eight yards. So, everyone else, more or less fine. Nawosu gave up the big play in coverage, but, uh, you know, that's one play. At the end of the day, you can kind of see that Jordan Brooks gave up over a third of the total number of passing yards the Chiefs got in this game. So nobody else could have done that badly, right? Like there are going to be other plays you give up here and there, but overall you'd say this is a Jordan Brooks problem and then everyone else did okay. Moving on to the cornerbacks to kind of illustrate that a little bit better, Tariq Woolen was targeted three times. He gave up two completions for all of, yeah, 11 yards. So he gave up the two short ones and then he had the PBU in the uh, end zone. That would have been the touchdown. Real nice play by him. Almost picked it off. QB rating allowed, according to PFR right now, is 52.3. So really, really good year for Tariq Woolen. Really, really happy about what he's doing. I thought he was one of our best players against the Chiefs. When you get targeted three times in a game as a starting corner and you only give up 11 passing yards, that's, uh, that is a cornerback doing his job. Michael Jackson also had a bit of an improved game. He was targeted three times, gave up two completions, but uh, only 16 yards. And I didn't notice any terrible tackling from him in this game in comparison to recent games. He did allow a touchdown, 
but I think it was the Kadarius Tony touchdown, and I, I'm just not gonna like like that's not really a coverage touchdown, is it? It's a glorified running play, and Jackson was in coverage. And honestly, both touchdown passes the uh, Seahawks gave up in this game. It was like I can't really put that on the guy in coverage the the way those touchdowns transpired. So I'm not really putting a lot of stock into that. His QB rating allowed this year is still holding below 83. It did go up because of the touchdown. But again, I, I don't put a lot of stock into that for this game and that for that particular type of touchdown. Uh, Kobe Bryant also didn't get picked on a ton. He got targeted three times and gave up two completions for a grand total of 15 yards. So you can kind of see. Cornerbacks in this game did their job. Every cornerback on this team that start that played significant snaps got targeted three times, gave up two completions for like a total of less than 50 yards combined between all of them. And that's how you get to a fairly successful game for that crew. Unfortunately, the linebackers gave up over 100. Well over 100, actually. Uh, but Kobe's Kobe gave up the touchdown, like I said, but again... I don't know. The, on to me, a touchdown pass like that, you got to give it to somebody. But I'm not really upset at Jackson or Kobe for those touchdowns. It's hard for me to put it on him. But QB rating allowed is up to 116.4, which, I mean, he's got work to do. But again, he's playing out of position. It is what it is. I'm cool with it. Ryan Neal sat this game out, so his numbers did not change. Quandre Diggs, I believe, was targeted once in this game. And he um, did not give up the completion, so his numbers are largely unchanged. Let me, I just had to make sure I got that right. And his QB rating allowed is still at about 97.4. A lot has been said about Quandre lately. I will say this. I think it would be a good idea to move off him this offseason. It would not shock me if he just needs a year to get his legs underneath him after a pretty uh, brutal injury last year. So... I'm, I, I could see it working both ways. But uh, Quandre Diggs played perfectly fine in coverage in this game. It seemed like he played fine overall, actually. Uh, the only other thing to really talk about would be the reserve safeties who had to play because of no Ryan Neal. They both did fine. Keys to Boer got targeted twice, gave up one completion for 27 yards, so kind of a big play. But overall, I'd say he did fine. And John Abram, same thing. One completion allowed. It was a bigger play. Again, 32 yards. But only one completion on two targets. That's I'll, I'll deal with that from a backup safety all day. And that pretty much paints the picture here. The cornerbacks played really, really well. Cornerbacks didn't give up much. Uh, the two touchdowns they gave up, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just, it happened, right? But I don't feel the need to hold it against them. The safeties gave up a couple of lar longer completions, but they did okay. It's mostly about the linebackers. In this game, the linebackers gave up what, 130 combined yards in coverage, maybe 140. So there's your problem right there. But uh, not a bad game overall for these guys. Uh, catch you guys later. Going to be another video later today. Go Hawks. And uh, that's your past coverage Thursday.